I think most people expected that the federal government would in fact appeal this decision, but the cabinet met last night and they announced that they would not be appealing this landmark federal court decision. That court decision has already awarded $3 million in compensation to the Brett Cattle Company. That uh, company was the lead applicant in a class action that could see hundreds of millions of dollars in compensation awarded. I caught up uh, last night with Tracy Hayes, who was the facilitator of this class action. She's also the former CEO of the Northern Territory Cattlemen's Association. I spoke to her just uh, minutes after this decision was handed down. Here's a bit of what she had to say. It was an atrocious decision made by the Federal Labor Government of the day and it caused um, uh, great distress and heartache across Northern Australia. And we don't ever want to see governments of any persuasion uh, having the ability and capacity to make decisions like this again. Now, there were several people within the government, Annalise, including the Attorney General, Christian Porter, who believed that this decision should have been appealed to the High Court. They weren't concerned about the cattlemen themselves and the compensation that they would be awarded. They were more concerned about the precedence that the decision uh, had set. That decision from Justice Rares in the Federal Court found that the former Agriculture Minister, Joe Ludwig, had committed malfeasance in public office when he announced that snap ban back in 2011. 11. Now, there was a fight, though, that went on between the Liberals and the Nationals. The Nationals argued hard against a possible appeal to the High Court. In particular, Barnaby Joyce, who'd fought this issue right from day one back in 2011, and also the Queensland Senator, Matt Canavan. Uh, we've heard from National MPs this morning who've welcomed uh, the decision that's now been made by the federal government. It's certainly not about the money for most of the cattle producers up here. They want that justification, that vindication for their livelihoods. They want to know that governments can't make uh, uh, overnight decisions, knee-jerk decisions, uh, to shut down their lives without proper reasons for doing so. And this, this court case helps clarify for businesses in this country that governments don't just have the unfettered right uh, to shut you down. And it's another reason why the Nationals Party exists. We fought for this. Uh, we fight for those people on the land. Uh, they don't always get their voice heard in the halls of power, but they did this in this instance, and that's great news. It'll never bring back all, all that that had been unravelled through the industry so many years ago. But this is acknowledgement to those farmers in northern Australia that were impacted by this disastrous decision by Joe Ludwig and the Gillard government, that their government has acknowledged it was the wrong one and we're going to fix it. The Prime Minister, Annalise, was asked about this issue by our reporter, Danica DiGiorgio, just a few weeks ago. Uh, when he was asked, uh, he basically said he believed that the cattlemen here in the Northern Territory deserved compensation and that the decision that was made by the Gillard government back in 2011 was a really bad one. Well, he's followed through on those comments uh, in the Cabinet last night. I'm told that the Prime Minister was instrumental uh, in this decision not to appeal to the High Court, that he put his foot down in the Cabinet and said that it wouldn't be happening. It's also a win for the Nationals. We've heard from plenty of those Nationals MPs today, but most of all, it's a win for the cattlemen here in the Northern Territory. It now opens the door for this class action to go ahead that could see uh, people who were affected by that ban back in 2011 awarded hundreds of millions of dollars in compensation.